Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Maureen and this is Zedex Crochet. If you like crochet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And today I'll be taking you through this tutorial of how to make this beautiful crochet top. This is how it looks like. And if you like crochet stuff, don't you can check out my YouTube channel. This is the front part of the top. And this is the back part of the top. This is how our top is going to look like at the back. Yeah, so get your materials ready. We shall need a three ply yarn, Robin. I'm using a three ply yarn, Robin, and I'll also be using a three millimeter hook. You also need a stitch marker and you also need scissors and you will also need um, a darning needle. So for the start, you're going to make a slip knot. And after making the slip knot for a size small, you are going to chain 30. If you're of a bigger size, you are just going to measure from where your waist is up to where your nipple is. That's how long it should be. Then you continue with the process. After chaining 30, I chained one and I went into the second chain from the hook with a double crochet. And the next chain we shall insert a single crochet so this top is going to be worked by interchanging between a half I mean a double crochet and a single crochet so where you insert a double crochet you must the next stitch you must insert a single crochet next stitch we are going to insert a half double crochet and the next stitch we shall insert a single crochet and that's what we are going to do up to the end of this chain up to the end of this chain so approaching the end this is our last chain we are going to go into that with three stitches and the first stitch will be a single crochet followed by a double crochet we are going to insert a double crochet in that same place where we inserted our first single crochet. Insert a half double, insert a double crochet, and after insert a single crochet. So those are three stitches, and after doing this, you are going to get your stitch marker and mark off the half double crochet because it's the one which is in the exact middle, right there. In the three stitches you have inserted you have to make sure that your stitch marker is placed right in the middle and that is where our half our, our double crochet is so you put your stitch marker in the double crochet since we ended with a single crochet we are going to go into the next stitch with a half with a double crochet since we ended with a single crochet the next stitch insert a single crochet and in the next stitch insert a double crochet insert a single crochet in the next stitch and we are going to do that up to this point right here here approaching the end it must be a double crochet insert your double crochet and after that you are going to chain one and turn your work since we ended with a double crochet you are going to go into that same stitch with a single crochet and where we placed our single crochet right here we are going to go into it with a double crochet where we placed that single crochet you are going to go into it with a single crochet where we placed that double crochet and where we place this single crochet go into it with a double crochet so we are going to be interchanging between half double crochet and single crochets so where you placed your single crochets you shall be inserting a double crochet and where you placed a double crochet you shall be going into it with a single crochet here we are approaching our stitch marker and this is a double crochet just a chain before the stitch marker remove your stitch marker and you're just simply going to go into it with three more stitches and first you have to insert a single crochet because the previous stitch we inserted a double crochet after that you are going to insert a double crochet 
make sure that you are putting this in the same stitch you have to put to put three stitches in the same stitch followed by a single crochet so get your stitch marker and put it into the where we placed our double crochet right there you have to put the stitch marker because every time we reach this point we have to insert three stitches that's two single crochets and one half double crochet in the middle after that after that continue with the part time and that is just placing a half double crochet where you previously placed a single crochet and a single crochet where you previously placed a half double crochet chain one turn your work and at this point since you have ended with a single crochet you have to insert a double crochet followed by a single crochet you have to alternate between a double crochet and a single crochet that's what this top is all about basically except the half double crochets for the strings and that's coming in a bit much later so here we are approaching our stitch marker we are going to take it off and we are going to go into it with three stitches insert your first single crochet followed by a half double crochet and then a single crochet and after that don't forget to place your stitch marker in the middle stitch and that is where we placed our double crochet and continue with the pattern double crochet followed by single crochet followed by half double crochet like that at this point right here and you are going to keep working like this until you come up with something that can that is enough to cover your bust so turn your work and just continue doing the same thing and for the to, to come up with this length and with it i had to do 16 rows i made 16 rows for this and yeah this is my second and i'm coming to the end of it so after that you're going to pull up a long loop and then cut your yarn we are going to use the long loop to join our top together because you are working in two parts so you first make the first part then make the second part so this is my second part i already made the first part I'm simply going to get this and join it with the first part. This is the first part right here. And this is the second part right here. You have to make sure that they are of the same size and you simply need to count your rows and I made 16 for each. So this is what we have. And then we are going to try to join them together we simply need to join one part to the other and that will be the middle part between the breasts so look closely and pick your right side and wrong side carefully as you wish so here we are this is what I have and I already made my measurement so I'll simply count 20 from the top going down and where my 20 stops it stops right here count again 20 for a size small count 20 from the top and it's right here place your stitch marker right here so we are going to place the stitch marker right here this is where our 20 is Get your stitch marker and simply put it in there secure it in the place and yep 
after that we are going to join the lower part and this is what you are going to join just get your darning needle i used a darning needle but you can use single crochets or anything i just find this much easier and much much seamless here we are this is the beginning of the joining it's quite easy Here we are just you are just going to join one end to the other end the one I'm doing it in the video so yeah it's really that simple and I'm going to do that up to where we placed our stitch marker up to this point right here Here we are after you remove your stitch marker and simply go into it to make sure that your things are tight. This is how it looks like but for my case I decided to go into it twice with a return row. So I grabbed my darning needle and I went through it once again just to make sure that everything is tight like this and up to the end of the row right here here we are now you simply need to make sure that it's tight enough and it's not going to get out of the top. When you are done you are going to cut your yarn cut your yarn so this is what we have in our hands this is our how our top looks like so after this part what we are going to do we are going to add on some bit of extensions the extensions that will hold the holes where we shall be putting our where the strings will be passing right here around here so I'm going to count 20 I use that method a lot so after counting 20 from that top I'm going to place that's where I'm going to begin making my extension from right here Place your stitch marker and after that go to the bottom of your top and attach your yarn. After touching your yarn you're going to make a slip knot. Just like this and after that it's advisable that you chain one. And continue with the pattern in this side it can show where you placed your single crochet you have to go into it with a half double with a double crochet sorry and where you placed your double crochet you go into it with a single crochet and I'm going to repeat that pattern here we insert our single crochet followed by a half double crochet Followed by a single crochet and a half double crochet, just alter alternating up to this point right here. A half double crochet, and after that, you're going to chain one and turn your work 
and we are simply going to continue doing the same thing single crochet where you placed your double crochet and double crochet where you placed your single crochet just like this and the top will look seamless as you can see because you just followed with the pattern and didn't have to first make a, an edge or something like that so this is what we have and I made five rows of this this is how it looks like I made five rows and after I cut my yarn and I came to this side and I I applied the same thing I should say yeah here we are these are also five this is the fifth as you can look so I'm going to do a I'm going to sing single crochet around this work as I'm going to show you in the video so chain one turn your work so both sides have this kind of thing the extensions chain one turn your work and go into each and every stitch with a single crochet and I'm going to single crochet all the way to where I'm supposed to place my string single crochet at this point this is our, how our work looks like so I'm also going to single crochet around this lower part of the top too insert your single crochets all around this part and I'm going to single crochet from this point up to the other end here we are so we are still working in single crochets I just wanted to show you single crochet at every angle of that top this is our edging we are actually applying edging onto our top so that it won't be so stretchy when we put it on continue with single crochets continue with single crochets and uh, I'll meet you at this point so at this point we are going to we are going to apply our string go into the top stitch with a single crochet and after that you are going to chain I made a chain of 200 but you can make us the ones you chain up for you so I made a chain of 200 and after that I went through them with a with a half double crochet chain one and go into the second stitch the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet and I'm going to half double crochet all my all the way to where we are going to attach it to the top half double crochet and continue half double crocheting up to this point right here up to this point here we are approaching the end and we are still working in half double crochets so attach the string onto the top with a half double crochet and after doing that you are going to work in single crochets because remember we are going around our top with a single crochet Continue single crocheting, I'll meet you at the middle part of the top. But you are going to single crochet all the way to this point right here where we are going to attach another string. And then we shall single crochet up to the other point. So this is the middle of our top. You simply are going to single crochet around it too. Here we are at the top of the other side where we are supposed to attach our yarn. You simply need to chain 200 if your size small. And after chaining 200, you are going to make a return row with a half double crochet up to when you meet the part where your string is supposed to be attached to the top. So this is what we have and 
I'll meet you right here. Yes, I mean we shall single attach then continue working in single crochets up to this point. So this is our top so far. The yarns are well attached and now it's time to put the holes onto our top where the strings will be passing. So with this you are going to make a chain. Make a chain of four. Make a chain of one, two, three and four. And you're going to skip three three stitches and insert a single crochet into the fourth stitch. After that, you're going to single crochet up to when you are remaining with four stitches. That's why we shall insert our other hole or oh, opening up to this point. Here we are done inserting our opening. And after that, you are going to go around the lower part of the top with a single crochet. Remember, we went around it with a single crochet previously, so you are going to repeat the same thing. After attaching the openings onto the other side, you simply continue working in single crochets around the lower part up to when you meet this point right here. Count four, go into it with a single crochet, single crochet up to the other end. Continue single crocheting, and now when you reach that point, chain four. And this go into the fourth stitch with a single crochet. So you are done with your top actually. Safeguard the yarn. Cut your yarn and pull up the loop and yeah, this is your top. I'm going to use a darning needle to whip the ends in. Insert your yarn into the needle and I'm simply going to weave in the ends and it's not going to be so hard. This is my wrong side. So I weave in the ends onto the wrong side and not the right side. You should always remember that. So after doing this, I'm going to cut my yarn. This is the excess yarn, so you can cut it and I'll continue cutting off the excess yarns just to make my work a little bit smarter and neat. This is the wrong side of the top. And this is the right side of the top. Our top is all done. I'm simply cutting off the excess yarn. This that went out a little bit. And after that, completely done. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give it a thumbs up and if you have questions you can leave them in the comment section down below i'll be glad to get back to you so happy crocheting